guest here, the Honorable Minister of Defence, State for Defence, Charge of Defence, Honorable both of both. Our energetic chairman of Mekuatu, the deputy managing director of the National Enterprise Corporation, the general retired Innocent Ogora, the officers of the video who are here, the staff, Mekuatu, the media, and all of you in respective capacities. I've been introduced. I'm Lieutenant General James Mujera, and I'm the Managing Director of the National Enterprise Corporation, which is the commercial and business arm of the Ministry of Defense and the Uganda People's Defense Forces. Sir, let me first take this opportunity to thank you, Honorable Minister, for finding time of your various busy schedule to come and grace this function of unveiling to the public one of the products of our joint venture, a joint venture between the NEC and WATU, called NEC WATU, uh, the product of filters. So here we are attending the commissioning of the first one of the filter, vehicle filters. This is no doubt a big milestone in the history of the automotive industry in Uganda. I want to take this opportunity to thank our partners, WATU, for their willingness to work with us, for their willingness to share the experiences, the technology, their experience and expertise and finding us as a NEC suitable partners. I thank you for the trust and confidence in the NEC and I can only assure you that we are serious and reliable partners and we give you all the support to make sure that this joint venture becomes successful. This industry, the automotive industry in this country is no doubt fast growing. It's one of the fastest growing uh, uh, industries globally and in Uganda. I'm told that this JV here, our factory, we have capacity to produce 3,000 vehicles annually and 1.5 million filters uh, in a year. As a country, of course, in Uganda, we have advantages because we have an educated population, we have skilled or scalable uh, population, and then the increasing household purchasing power. So that one we believe that will give us, help us uh, in uh, even providing the market for our product. One of the challenges we have been having in, as a country is depending on others that we have to keep on importing. And we have not only been importing, but we have also been importing used products. That's why you see so many second-hand white vehicles here on the roads of Uganda. And these are very dangerous even from an environmental point of view. So here we have the factory which is going to produce brand new vehicles, made in Uganda, environmental friendly, and even easy to operate. So I think that uh, this one is a, a big achievement for this country. It will help also help our country sell the foreign exchange which we have been using to import these vehicles from abroad and provide employment uh, for our people. It also brings these products closer to our people because in the past if you have to get a brand new vehicle from outside, maybe you make an order and it will take so many months. But now these products are going to be produced here and it's in just a short time you can order for a vehicle according to your specifications and receive it. But above all, it is going to contribute to our country's industrial base. I thank the local leadership of Mbari, that they are represented here, because for the support that they give this uh, Mbari 
that's true. But the issues that have been raised by the chair, especially issues of tax, no doubt those are going to be handled, but I leave that to the Honorable Minister to uh, give us assurances. With those few words, once again, I will come you all here and thank our partners for this cooperation and look forward to strengthening this cooperation and moving from this first phase to a second phase. Thank you very much and thank you very much for coming.